during the early 2000s, in the depths of the technological realm, there existed a mysterious operating system called Windows Code Name Series, an operating system that was said to have been a project at Microsoft that was going to become a very successful operating system, only for it to be cancelled because it was cursed. Rumors began circulating on the internet claiming that code name series had possessed powers beyond how a normal operating system would have. As the whispers of series' own existence spread throughout the internet community, a group of engineers at Microsoft were at the time trying to test the system, only to find out that series had strange glitches that they could not fix right away. They claimed to have reported problems such as files and desktop icons moving around on their own, strange whispers emanating from the computer's speakers, screens would often flicker and brighten, cryptic error messages often displayed, and the background would change to show disturbing imagery whenever nobody was around, as if the operating system had a mind of its very own. Fast forward to today, as a software developer at Microsoft, I was hired to work for patches to fix the glitches in tampered Windows operating systems such as Codename Nexus, Windows Shadowgate, Windows 5, Codename Rift, Codename Mars, the Disney OS, Codename Daytona, Windows 99, Windows 6, Windows Whistler Server and many others. I had worked so hard with numerous software developers to create the patches to the glitches in lost operating systems. Until then, something big happened. Microsoft had finally announced the release of an operating system enhancement product titled, Microsoft Enhancement Patches for Fixing Bugs in Tampered Windows Operating Systems. A very exciting development that would finally fix the glitches in cursed operating systems that had been previously reported to have the strange glitches in them, like the glitches in the code name series system. So I came to an old computer with the series operating system in it and tested it to see if the patches work. The boot screen looked the same as the Windows 2000 logo, with the text reading Microsoft Windows Code Name Series on it, even the startup sound was the same one used in Windows 2000. When the system finished booting, I began to report the strange glitches that the software had. So I tried to get a USB drive that would install the patches in the system, but once I plugged the USB drive in, something unsettling began to happen. To be frank, I hope it's not gonna be in the likes of those Pooh's Adventures styled creepypastas like always. Three distorted figures of familiar characters, such as Bonzi Buddy for instance, began to appear on my screen, looking directly at me in the eyes. Shivers were being sent down my spine as they all said to me. You will regret this. During the installation process of the patches, the system kept sending out cryptic error messages appearing to be warning signs not to install the patches. I ignored the warnings, and the computer began to reset itself and the patches were being installed. When the patches finished installing, I could finally feel a sigh of relief that the glitches in the series had stopped and I could use it without worrying about those forces who try to make cursed Windows versions have these glitches. The nightmare of the Windows code name series continues to haunt some people to this day, waiting to appear in their nightmares soon.